So why do astronauts use spirulina? Now spirulina is a, is a type of uh, dark green algae that is super concentrated with all sorts of nutrients, which I'm going to get to in a second. But astronauts have a unique problem. They have to prevent bone density, depletion, muscular atrophy, metabolic rate changes, loss of body mass, cardiovascular breakdown, and even decreased immunity. They have to carry food that is uh, preserved because they have limited space and they don't have a lot of refrigeration. So things have to be preserved, dehydrated, or freeze-dried. They're in an environment where you have higher amounts of radiation. They have to artificially regulate the oxygen and CO2 and the temperature. So it's a highly controlled environment. So NASA did a huge research project, and this was in the 70s. NASA concluded that spirulina is one of the most powerful, concentrated foods available to mankind. Now, I had to look this up from three different references to see if this is true, but they stated that the nutrient value of a thousand kilograms of fruits and vegetables equate one kilogram of spirulina. That is mind-blowing. So spirulina is loaded with potassium, calcium, magnesium, beta carotene, all eight essential amino acids. It's a nutrient-dense superfood on steroids without the steroids. It has a really good absorbable iron and folate. It has six times more absorption than normal iron supplements. And on top of the nutrients, it has a lot of phytochemicals and chlorophyll that give you health benefits that go beyond these vitamins and minerals and trace minerals. So just from the standpoint of phytonutrients, spirulina can help remove toxins and improve one's immunity. So whether you're uh, deciding to be an astronaut and you're going to fly in space, or you just want some green product that is super nutrient dense, you might want to check out spirulina. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.